Welcome to Math to Find. Today we're going to learn how to compare and order rational numbers. We'll look at decimals, fractions, integers, and even absolute values. First, let's quickly define what rational numbers are. A rational number is any number that can be written as a fraction. This includes whole numbers, integers, fractions, and decimals. Let's start with whole numbers and integers. Our first comparison is negative 3 and the absolute value of negative 5. Let's use a number line to visualize these two values. First, we'll graph negative 3 by placing a dot on the number line at negative 3. Then we'll graph the absolute value of negative 5, and we know that the absolute value of negative 5 is positive 5. We can visually see on the number line that the absolute value of negative 5 is to the right of negative 3. So negative 3 is less than the absolute value of negative 5. Now let's look at this second problem. Again, we'll graph the absolute value of negative 1, which is positive 1. And then we need to be careful with this absolute value of negative 6. We know that the absolute value of negative 6 is positive 6, but we have this negative sign here outside of the absolute value bars, which makes the positive 6 a negative 6. Looking at the number line, we see that positive 1 is to the right of negative 6, so the absolute value of negative 1 is greater than negative 6. Now let's graph and compare some decimal numbers. Looking at problem number 3, let's graph positive 4.9 on the number line. And then the absolute value of negative 6.3 is positive 6.3. Since positive 4.9 is to the left of the absolute value of negative 6.3, 4.9 is less than the absolute value of negative 6.3. I really like how number lines make this comparison process so visual and easy to see. And I hope you do too. Let's move on to problem number 4. First, we'll graph the absolute value of 5.3, which is positive 5.3, but with the negative sign outside of the absolute value bars, it becomes negative 5.3. Then we'll graph the fraction positive 1 half, which is very easy to do. Now since negative 5.3 is to the left of positive 1 half, it is less than 1 half. Here's a fun fact. The concept of a number line dates back to ancient Greek mathematicians like Euclid and Archimedes, who used geometric representations of numbers, which evolved over time into the number lines we use in modern mathematics today. Now let's move on to fractions. To compare fractions, it's often easiest to find a common denominator. Let's compare 1 fourth and 3 eighths. Looking at the denominators, we see that 4 is a factor of 8. So let's use 8 as the common denominator. Now to find the equivalent fraction, we multiply 4 by 2 to get 8, and the numerator by 2 to get 2. The last step is to compare the numerators, and 2 is less than 3, so 1 fourth is less than 3 eighths. You can also use a number line to compare fractions. First, let's graph the absolute value of negative 1 and a half. We know that absolute value is always positive, so we'll graph it at positive 1 and a half. Then we'll graph 1 and 1 fourth. On the number line, we see that the absolute value of negative 1 and a half is to the right of 1 and 1 fourth, so it is greater than 1 and 1 fourth. Now let's put it all together and order this set of numbers from least to greatest. Looking at this set of numbers, we see that we have just one fraction. We could convert this fraction into a decimal number and then order them from least to greatest. I'm going to use a number line, just because it's easier to visualize the order. First, we'll graph the absolute value of 3.5, then the absolute value of negative 1.8, 4.6, 3 and 2 fifths, and the absolute value of 2.7. The last step is to look at the number line and then write down the values in order from left to right or least to greatest. And there you have it. Now you know how to compare and order rational numbers. 
whether they are decimals, fractions, integers, or absolute values. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep math awesome.